Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you about maximizing your potential. There's somebody that I love, his podcast, his name's Ed Milet, and his hashtag that he uses is max out. And I haven't really thought about what that means. And, and I realized lately, this is something that I need to get better at and something I also need to share with more people is asking this, have you reached your maximum potential? Meaning what you already have in front of you, have you taken those things, all the things that you're currently doing right now and maximize them and, and extrapolated them out as far as they can go? Whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're in a job, whether you are building a small business, whether you are wondering what to do. I see so often people say, I don't know what path to go. I don't know what to do next. And yet they have a lot of great ideas, but they're so confused by what to do. And they're so focused on shiny object syndrome of the next big thing that comes along, the next big thing that they're not maximizing what's already in front of them. They're not taking what's already in front of them, what they already have access to and reaching the maximum potential of that thing. Have you maxed out your life, meaning taking what you're currently doing and doing all the things that you can with what you currently have before trying to add new layers to it. Now, let me explain what this means. For example, are you doing a live video at least five days a week on all of your social media platforms? If you're building a business on the internet and you are not doing one live video at least five days a week on all of your social media platforms, don't try other things until you do that one thing. I'm, I'm serious here. And a lot of people actually argue about this because I can tell they do because people aren't doing live videos every day. And I hope just from this video, I encourage one person watching this to get past the fear of opening their mouth and pressing the record button on live video. Are you maximizing your potential? Have you reached your maximum potential? If you're on social media and you're not utilizing video, if you're not making at least one post a day on all of your platforms and you're complaining that you don't know how to build a brand, that you don't know how to reach people, that means that you actually are wanting somebody else to build it for you and you're not wanting to take responsibility for it and you're wanting to basically plug in like you do a job, get hired, show up, clock in, and then clock out. You're going to make a lot more money just by going to a job, clocking in and clocking out. And I'm serious, you guys. So here's the thing. Whatever's in front of you right now, whatever you have access to, Whatever is working, have you maxed out and reached the maximum potential of those things yet? And if you haven't, why not? Why haven't you been doing live video every single day? What is your reason for that? Everybody comes up with reasons. You know, I talked to a lady last week. She says she just doesn't get how live video will connect people with what she already does. And I said this, I said, listen, if you do live video, you can answer people's questions and then get into conversations with people You'll talk to them, DM them, and you'll get coaching clients that way. They'll want to read your book when you launch your book, and they'll tell their friends about it. That's what the purpose is. It's not to say, look at me. Here's the other thing, too. Mm, I'm so tired of seeing this. People do live video, and it's all about, look at me. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. If you're doing anything on social media, it has nothing to do with you at all. It has everything to do with the other person watching the social media. It's not about showing, look at all that I'm doing anymore. Nobody cares about that. They don't. What matters now is a conversation, a two-way conversation between human beings, the ones that you connect with and building a culture, building a community in a way that you actually have conversations with people. Not just a one-way look at me, oh yes, that looks great, but rather say, plugging in and engaging and actually helping somebody else. The only reason that I do these videos every day, I don't care if you like, comment, share, other than the fact that I would love if you maybe share this message with other people so that it impacts other people. But the only reason I do these every day is I wanna help people, other people like you watching this. And if you got to four and a half minutes in this video and you're watching it, I think that you're somebody that maybe this resonates with. And I can tell that. That's why I have my podcast. That's the only reason I do any of this is to help you guys. And I, and I don't need the applause. I don't need the, the comments. I don't need the 
validation of that. The only reason I'm also saying that is because that's what you need to do. Watching this right now to maximize your potential, get out of your own head about what you want, what your desires are, and you're like, well, you don't know my situation. I have to pay my bills. I have to, I don't have any money, so I need to do that. That's great, but projecting that, that need on everybody is never going to get you that goal. Instead, speak with confidence, not overcompensating or not undercompensating, but rather knowing that what you're doing is what you were called to do. I just had a call with a lady yesterday. She's super talented, super skilled at a VA business that she runs. But she was like, not very confident about it because she didn't have a lot of clients. And I told her this, I said, listen, even if you had a thousand clients, if you changed nothing and you had a thousand clients, you still wouldn't be confident because confidence has nothing to do with what you do. It has nothing to do with it and everything to do with what's going on between your two ears and knowing that I'm doing what I was called to do and what I was made for. And so part of reaching your maximum potential is this. Have you spent the time in personal development? If you're trying to build a business and you're struggling with fear, worry, guilt, shame, insecurity, imposter syndrome. That's a mindset issue that has nothing to do with business building. And no matter how big you build a business, it's never going to solve those things. And so for you to reach your maximum potential, you need to get your mindset right first. And when you get your beliefs right, then your actions will follow. I've seen people, you will work exponentially hundreds of times harder trying to build something with a bad mindset and waste years of your life trying to do something versus when you get your mindset right, everything just starts to kind of click into place. It starts to fall into place. That's why I made the Grow Your Life podcast. That's why I do these videos. I want to encourage you and, uh, as well. I mentioned um, Ed Milet at the beginning of this. Ed Milet's podcast is another one that I really recommend to people. Uh, I've recommended it a number of times on this. Look his name up, Ed Milet. I really recommend it. He's like, uh, he kind of takes a little bit like the Tony Robbins style, but then he, he, he expresses it in a way that is really tangible that you can apply and language that works for people. Uh, his, his stuff just really helped me kind of, it clicked in really well. And I was able to plug into that when I was really struggling with my mindset. Actually, earlier this year, I, I really struggled with mindset. And he inspired me to step out and do these videos every day to start my podcast just through that. And so that's why I say that. And his whole thing is, is max out. Are you maxing out your potential? And I want to encourage you with that. If you haven't maximized your potential, there's so many resources out there. There's no reason in 2019 with the internet, with podcasts, and with YouTube to say, I don't know what to do anymore. You can listen to multimillionaires, hundred millionaires, billionaires, sharing the mindset, getting and thinking the way you have to, to, to get something different. You have to think in the way of people that get what you want and you're not going to copy them, but it's a template. They've been there before. They've done it. They've walked through hell and back and lived to tell the story. And that's why there's so many great people on podcasts. And I shared that why podcasts have helped change my life. I, you know, a couple of my other favorite podcasts. I love I love Sean Bolt's podcast, uh, Exploring the Prophetic. It's awesome. I love, um, <laughs> um, oh, what's another one? The Playbook with Dave Meltzer. And um, uh, I also like uh, Impact Theory. Those are, those are some favorite podcasts of mine that I like to listen to. So I highly recommend plug into some podcasts, listen to some, look up some people. If you've been wondering, hey, I've been hearing I should listen to this person, you know, and um, plug in and listen. And as well, I recommend if you haven't checked out my podcast, the grow your life podcast, look up hashtag grow your life in your podcasting app, or go to my website. I'll leave a link in the description to my podcast. Check it out. It's time for you to start maximizing your potential. There's so much more that you can, there's so much more inside of you and you're better than this. It's time to upgrade your life, grow your life, everybody. And we'll talk soon.